I've noticed a lot of producers, and I get this from, you know, anytime I, I tweet about this, and you tweeted something similar recently. I, I, I wonder if you got replies to this effect, but um, I noticed a lot of producers believe that the only type of beats that customers are willing to buy are trap beats. Did you <laughs> feel that way when you started? Was that a kind of mental, psychological barrier you had to push through? Absolutely. Um, I remember I like the first um, couple of beats that I uploaded to, to YouTube, like 2013, 2014. I, don't, I think I removed them or something because they were trash. But I remember um, I got a comment and somebody was like, you can't make beats like this. What do you, Who do you think is going to rap over this? Can you imagine Lil Uzi Vert rapping over this? And I just remember it being like, oh, man, like maybe they're right. And this is just one random person leaving a comment. And, and I remember like, I think that's, that's a point um, for like people that are just starting out like, yo, random person leaving a comment they like first of all you don't know who they are second of all you don't know what kind of music they're into third of all they probably have never put out music themselves so like just don't listen to them at all you got to be really careful who whose advice or criticism or whatever you want to call it you take um but i remember i remember like taking that to heart like yo maybe i gotta like do a more like whatever sound is trendy and blah 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 but um I don't know. I just, I kind of just like, well, I don't, I don't really, I'm not, if there's, if there's people out there that still listen to like Pete Rock, DJ Premier and you know, what have you. And there's still people online all over the world that are listening to like these instrumental mixes that we see on YouTube that are like obviously way blown up now, but at the time there was still like a lot of you know, like, oh, old school hip hop instrumental mixes or whatever. I'm like, if there's people out there looking for this, then I can like find a little space in there. So if I just get really good at this sound or like what I consider to be, you know, good at this sound, then, you know, maybe if I'm patient, like people will, will start paying attention.